Welcome Libra to your love reading for September 3rd to the 9th of 2018. So let's look into what's going on with you. All right. Energy for Libra in love. September 3rd to the 9th of 2018. All right. So overall energy in between both. What's coming, what they might bring towards you, your response, advice, outcome. So a quick reading for you for the week. So we have stress, all right? Uh, maybe the energy between both is very intense. And this often is where you're really thinking about whether or not to accept somebody in your life, um, to open that door, to shut it. Um, what has caused you to overreact or really not respond or vice versa when it comes to somebody else. So um, this is reading up on certain things, trying to meditate, trying to find divine guidance um, with the stress that you are experiencing. So maybe uh, from the weekend, there wasn't, you know, a lot of heavy tension, which is trying to make you figure out, like, what is that person's intent? What do I really want as well? So these things might come to your mind. All right. Now, the person, what they might be bringing towards you, they're broken. All right. They might be feeling either financially, um, either rejected by you or just not really feeling all that secure as well because they're not close to you as they would want to be. And either because you don't really want to open up to them, maybe your spiritual perspective right now is not where theirs is at this time. So that could cause you to have um, them to have some grievances uh, towards you right now. Um, what is your response? It seems like you it seems like you're very hopeful about this connection, but it often sees should I, you know, should I try or should I give this person a chance? Um, what's really going on with them and why am I so um, pulled to them? Why is it so enticing to be around that particular person? So I feel like it's the energy of both of you kind of you have this feeling and this um, the optimism is there, but it's not completely known or expressed. That's what I get a sense of when it comes to both of you. And some of you, it might be the fact that you have released an ex-partner or and you might be thinking about that particular person. They have released you, but sometimes they might even. There's something where financial security, um, where before, say, for instance, if y'all were together, whoever were was the one who was providing or helping out the majority of their connection someone appreciated that they liked it and they wanted it back but it's not there anymore so they moved on or even if your partner or romantic love interest is dealing with some issues like that they're um, appreciating what that other person has provided in some way so that could be an issue but i do feel like there is some healing and um the projection of something in the future is like you seeing someone for what they are but what they could be as well you have these things in your mind which could be very good but try not to overstate those things and try to be realistic and take things slow your advice um, see it is an energy where you might be feeling a bit down and stressed out um, about them because either you want things to move forward you want them to open up you want to be playful but it's something that's uh, hindering the connection right now it could be financially or that the other person needs to get things in order um, because they either do a lot for somebody else you notice that you don't like it and that could be something that's on your mind is bothering you and again you might be very attached to that particular person others of you this fact that you are holding back because of past hurt pain from them or another scenario that you dealt with um let's look into the five of pentacles for your uh partner or love interest what they might be ranked towards you for about five pentacles yeah, again, they have some things that they need to learn from, all right? Um, it's how they respond to you, certain things that they continue to do, bad spending habits, vices they need to heal from, or another person in a scenario that they respond to, and it has you kind of, um, you know, opening up to their energy. So try not to get into someone else's karmic tie if you don't need to. Um, clarify the sun in reverse for your advice. Yeah, it seems like a lot of you might have a lot to say. You want to express yourself, but maybe you felt like you've done that already. You've done it too much, and now you hold back. So this week, you might not even um, say certain things that's been on your mind maybe before you have. But right now, it's like I've, I've said enough. I've said too much at times. So, um, you know, that might be an issue. Others of you, it leads to drinking. It leads to intoxication, um, heavy intoxication. And these things could cause you to be depressed and causes you to hold on and hoard those emotions and hoard that you know the negative things that you put in your body which could chemically break you down so just be you know careful about that all right um messages for libra for 
September 3rd to the 9th of 2018. Admit your true feelings to yourself. And it says, be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you desire. We spoke about that in the beginning. What is it that you want? Um, if another person is, you know, something that or someone that you want, um, yeah, you have to be real about that. You acknowledge it. But if the other person is not either not ready, they're not willing to open it up. Um, you don't want to jump to conclusions, but you also don't want to jump into a connection and conclude that both of you are together when that's not the reality. So um, I feel like to take your time, this is a week to take your time to try to be playful when it comes out as the advice to um, acknowledge your feelings, express them, try to write, try to dance, sing, do whatever you can do to find your spirit or lift your spirit up in some way. So that might be tough, but you can do it. So um, just try to be patient with yourself. And I send you a lot of love, a lot of lights, tons of healing vibes as well. You can also go to the website, psychicclubhills.com to schedule something personally for you as these are general. All right. So the phone option won't be an option at this time, but other options are. So have a good one.